Welcome back. We got some updated stuff to um, do like this angle. Uh, my eyes look so tired. Ugh. Another day. Well, we're back, and we've got some more Glios to go over. I got another package that has a bunch of skeletons that'll be really fun to go through. And I placed another order with O'Neill Designs from the New Wave because there, I realized there was a few that I really wanted to get that I kind of missed out on. More of the alloy armor stuff, especially because I got most of the like translucent purples and stuff like that. But after seeing my like little Cray booth and the alloy and how it looks, I'm in love with it. It looks super sweet. So I definitely want to pick up some more of like the Sinkerborgs alloys and stuff like that. And Another reason, you know, of trying to order from O'Neill is to possibly get more of that translucent green stowaway bits and pieces sinkerboard guy. So I'm crossing my fingers that maybe I'm lucky and he still had more to give out and I get another little stowaway package, maybe with a different piece. We'll see though. But here's the thing. I realized that I made a fatal error the night of ordering Wave 93 because I was on it. I was really on it uh, to get the new Wave and everything that came out. And I was very lucky to get like the Cray Booth because I guess that's like a really rare Cray Booth now because it sold out within a half hour. But there was also a Mechavarian Armivore robot figure guy and the picture i'll show you a picture over here it, it, i didn't know if it included the armivore figure like all the pieces of the armivore figure uh because i collect the armivores i do so i was looking at it there's only one shot and i was like yeah I'm like semi a fan but like not really and it, it was the most expensive figure they had for the wave i think it was like 36 bucks or something like that for this figure came with a lot of pieces a lot of parts but it didn't specify what it exactly came with so I passed on it, uh, unfortunately, not realizing that it did in fact come with all the pieces to the armivore, like just the basic figure. Uh, and then it also came with all these other little robotic pieces. And I saw it on the Glass Facebook page. I was like, crap, crap, I missed out. Because of course it's sold out now. Like that one's gone. That one's completely gone and out of the picture. Which meant I had to go to another seller that bought it and I was reselling it. And unfortunately I had to pay extra because Glyos goes up. And, you know, once people buy the figures, they want to raise up the price by $10, $20. So I did end up getting it, and that's coming in. Uh, and that should be really cool to see because it's the alloy armivore, and it looks really sweet just as the normal armivore figure. So I'll go over that, and I'll show you it when it comes in. But I had to take the hit for that one, unfortunately. But I want to snag it while I still could before they kind of disappeared out of, like, the secondary market. And I have a few other really cool eBay finds that uh, I'm very excited about as well. So you'll see those when they come in as well. But the packages I do have in, I guess we should go over now because I'm excited to open up those skeletons and possibly that little stowaway from the O'Neill series. All right, let's start with the O'Neill design stuff first and see what we got in here. Now I got to pull out, oh, look at that. We've got some heads. This might be the extra stowaway stuff uh, unless he gave me just extra heads, which would be cool. We'll pull those out in a second, but let's let's dump the rest out here and see, actually. So as you can see, I got, like, the armor set headset of the alloy armor. It looks really sweet. Got a couple extra, like, cool heads in there. So you got, like, the shin pieces and the armor, like, chest piece. It should look really cool. I want to combine it with, like, that purple faden. I think that'll look really sweet, actually. I got this little dude. This is just extra connecting pieces and whatnot. I forget what they call these. They're actually called something but you can disconnect them and use them for other pieces and parts. And then I got another Faden Redlaw because he's just really sweet and I do like him a lot. So I'll probably add the Alloy Armor to him. And then I got one of the Alloy Armor Synchroborgs. He looks really sick actually. Again, I'm just, I fell in love with the Alloy stuff and I'm kind of bummed I didn't take advantage of more of the Alloy stuff. But you know, there's still a few on the website left. Uh, I did miss out on a few things like I was saying, like the Armivore, but he'll be in shortly. I'll get him soon enough. But yeah, this looks to be the only stowaway thing, so unfortunately I didn't get any more of the translucent green. But let's check out these heads. Kind of sick looking heads. They look like kind of old school heads, honestly. So that's kind of neat. 
They got like the old school vibe to them. I don't know what they're from exactly, but it looks like just some extra bonus stuff, which I'll take. All right, come on. How cool is that? Interswapping the pieces, combining them with the alloy. He looks really cool, actually. <laughs> like, really dope. And all the heads that come with this, the alloy heads, will look really cool on just any other kind of figures, too, I think. So, I'll fiddle around with them. I don't know if I have the armor on quite right. I feel like I'm forcing it quite a bit. So, I'm going to have to look that up. But, yeah, that's pretty sick combo, I think. Definitely put them up on my shelf like this. And then we got the Alloy Synchroborg. Let's just pull him out really quick and check that guy out because, you know, you saw, like, the nice teal one, but you didn't get to see the Alloy one, which does look flippin' sweet, too, man. That's so cool. And all these guys just come with so many extra parts. It's so neat. We gotta give him the axe hand. I think that just looks the best. It's so sweet looking with the axe. <laughs> Come on, he's so dope looking. That's so sick, man. Ah, all the alloys. So glad I got more. All right, Donnell's out of the way. Let's get into this other little Glios haul here. Found a guy on the Glios Connection, Marketplace, Facebook, whatever. He had a bunch of skeletons. So let's check out what I got. Have to beef up the skeleton collection. Oh, man. All right, let's check out these blue ones first. Oh, boy. Holy cow, these guys are sick looking. So I don't actually know if this is like an actual figure or if it's combined. It might be combined with the stealth and this other blue one. But nonetheless, it's a good combo if you just set it up like that. Really, really dope looking. I think it is because they have the same eye and everything. So I think this is just the regular version of the skeleton. And then he combined it with one of the stealth skeletons, which is the clear bodied one and everything. But even still, it's a cool combo. I like how he did it. So I'll gladly go up on my shelf as is. He looks sweet like this. Should have two more in here. Let's check out this one. So this is the smoke version, I believe, of skeleton. It's got like the smoke translucent on him and uh these always look sharp i really like customizing with these ones too because they oh he's got that like red eye in there too let me check that out check out that red little eye highlight that is really sick looking okay i like him even better now a really nice figure though for the smoke and it'll look good combined kind of just like this one back here if you combine him he'll look really sweet so wouldn't mind even getting a second one so i can do more combining with this one as well but a really nice one okay let's get out let's get out one of my favorites from this and it's unopened holy crap look at this guy dude let's get him out oh i can't wait dude this guy looks so freaking sweet that yellow and orange and the red eye again like oh man he just pops so hard dude <laughs> like he's gonna just jump off the shelf that is such a sick one i love it that's so cool even the fading head that comes with it is really nice in that orange and of course that yellow looking axe it's a little bit bent up from being in the packaging so long it's a little loosey-goosey but you know that'll uh that'll harden up a little bit but that is so fire that was such a cool figure. Holy crap, man. That is so awesome. So those are all the ones from today, and now we have to wait, and we should be getting in a couple more packages in the next few days here. Update on the shelf. I'm finally putting in the little tier system, so now I can fit, like, double on each shelf. It's going to look really clean. And these fit perfectly next to my Cthulhu guy. It's amazing. Ooh, just squeaking right in there. I'm going to put my biomass, biomutant dudes on this tier because they'll fit a little nicer. And then I'm just going to keep working down the shelf. I'm going to pause there for now because i got to figure out what I want to put on the rest of these shelves and where I want to put the tiered system. So I'm going to pause, but i got... My skeletons all lined up, and I'm running out of room already. I still have more that i got to put up here. My armivores, i got plenty more of those as well. And uh, this shelf's looking nice. i got another biomass that'll go here. Uh, but, yeah, it's clean. But i got to figure out what to do with these bottom shelves now. But dang, come on. How cool is this looking, man? It's turning out so good, especially on this shelf. Like, holy crap. Is this looking great? So, so cool. Look at all these guys. Oh, man, these top two shelves I'm most proud of so far. <laughs> oh, man, look at that view. Oh, man, that looks awesome. 
All right, a couple days later, I've got all my packages in here. I've got the Armavore, another little cool one, and a brand new figure two from a new company that I haven't gotten from yet. So this kind of whole video has been like testing out all the other Glios guys and seeing, you know, what kind of products are out there that I haven't gotten before outside of like, you know, God Beast and O'Neill Designs and stuff. Uh, so just fooling around and seeing if there's any other ones I like and checking them out. But let's open these up because I've just been dying all day to open up this Armivore. <laughs> All right, this is the Armivore. Let's leave him for last because I've got a couple other really cool ones that I want to showcase here. One being Robo Force, a very cool Robo robot dude i mean come on he's so big and hefty in this guy and these guys are actually pretty popular they're kind of expensive too honestly and i think i got like a really really good deal on this guy i think they go for around like 80 bucks or so like on secondary market secondary of course i only got this guy for 30 and he is just so so cool i mean check him out he's so beefy he's really really cool i love the gold and the green and everything on them it's really neat all these parts move too wow that's so cool and that's even got uh other spare parts you can actually this is part of the leg you can make them stand without like this little like wheelie base thing so just a couple extra parts to build the leg setup but this robo force guy is really cool first one i've gotten of the robo force and he is yeah he's sweet man a lot of really cool neat parts on him i enjoy it it's going to look good, look good, blah. can't talk, I guess. It's going to look good on the shelf is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> He's sweet, man. That is really cool. I bet you could do a lot of really neat custom buildings with him, too, with all his, like, more bricky parts and everything, too. Make some really cool, like, robo figures. So this is a really neat one. I'm glad I got him. A uh, guy on eBay had a bunch on there. And uh, unfortunately, this is the only one I could really get a bid on. Uh, but this was the main one I wanted to get. So I got it. It's great. Let's open up this one. This is another one of those new type figures that I haven't gotten before. This is actually from Battle Tribes. Kind of a more like uh, He-Man style figure, like the classic old school He-Man stuff. Uh, and this one is in a really cool translucent green. Of course, there's still the O'Neill size of like the three and a half inches, but it's just this really neat translucent. And let's, let's check them out. It's, this is kind of like... They got a bunch of really cool heads, and then also, on top of the heads, like, they even got, like, kind of a Conan head, and I'm a big Conan fan, so let's swap that out, because I want to, I want to see Conan. The axe actually slid right into his hand really easily, which I enjoy that, that's nice. Even got a nice looking shield here, too. Look at that, he looks super cool. I love the weapons in the Battle Tribe stuff, it does look really neat, and It'll be cool if I can, like, toss these in on other figures, too, because I did get extra. I got, like, a little mace here. That looks really nice. And also a sword. And they got a bunch of really unique heads as well. Let me show you those. This is the one that came on the figure. This is, like, kind of like an ogre-type head. Then we also get, like, a little cyclops-type guy. Pretty neat. I like the little mohawk on him. I don't know what you'd call him, but he's, like, cat man, panther man, dude. He's got, like, a mask of, like, a, you know, big cat on him or something. I feel like... I should know the name of like what they're going off of, but I can't remember. Uh, but kind of neat. I think it'll look better with paint, not just the translucent. Then we also got this weird like dragon-esque, hog-esque type one, which is interesting. Kind of more dragon-esque, I believe. Uh, I don't really like the huge cartoonish nose on this build. I think the snout needs to be a little sharper. It'd look more menacing, uh, but it's not terrible. And then we got a, like, a Triceratops head, dinosaur head, which is freaking sweet, actually. I love that head design. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a nice one. So, yeah, six different heads with these guys, and he's a nice little figure. You know, if I find a good deal on him, I might pick up more of these. They're kind of neat. He's so much smaller than the RoboForce guy. I think these heads are going to look really cool on other figures as well. I'm looking forward to placing, like, this dino head on another figure that I have. All right, but let's do it. Let's get out the armivore that I regretfully didn't purchase right away. Look at how much stuff you get with this bad boy. Freaking awesome. So this is a figure as it was kind of showcased on the O'Neill website, kind of this big robotic beefy boy. He does look pretty sweet, but it's not like my favorite build for like a robot guy. And obviously like you can see some of the armivore parts, but it didn't show anything else. But of course, it does have the Armivore heads and stuff, so I'm going to build them the regular Armivore way, because that's how he'll be going up on my shelf. 
And there he is. Bang. Look at how cool and sharp this armivore looks. He's so sweet, man. I love the, the head design on this one. That teal just really pops. I almost want to put this head on, though, too, because it kind of looks sick as well. Like, I don't know. I might swap it. What do you think? What do you think? Which head should I put on? I don't really know. They both look really dope. Either way, I'm glad I finally got this guy. He looks really sick, and uh, he'll be going up on the shelf with all my other armivores. I'm going to keep this gun because I really like how that looks, too. I'm going to keep that on there. But yeah, this guy looks awesome. And don't worry, all these other pieces here actually can be built into another little robot, which I might try to do later. Uh, or I'm going to combine these with like my synchro Borgs, because there's just plenty of great pieces to do whatever with. All right, see, can I add the sword here? It's a little loose fitting in the O'Neill one. It kind of just sits in there, but... I mean, you can just set it in there if it's just sitting on a shelf, and now he's got a sweet-looking sword. Awesome. Wait, 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 wait. You ready? Bang. Dinosaur head now. It's all set to go. <laughs> oh, look at the org one. That's so funny. Kind of cool looking, though. If you match it up right and combine with other elements of, like, translucent green, I think that could look really sharp. It's so goofy looking with that small head. <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay. The shield fits on him very nicely, actually. Bang. Well, forgetting the head now. Let's pop the head back on. There we go. Bang. That's pretty sick, too, honestly. That's awesome. I think I gotta leave Conan as is, though. Give him his axe and shield. It's just more fitting to uh, the Conan vibes. That's all the new figures I got in so far. I do have a couple more on order. I got some of the Mighty Maniacs from Roncom Toys. I'm excited for those two to check those out. So when I get those in, that'll probably be in the new vlog or next vlog or whatever so stay tuned for that because that should be pretty fun to go over just more again more of the new guys to just try out the different flavors of companies that are making glios products so it's been a lot of fun just checking them out oh yeah these guys look sick very happy with these purchases especially you even though i overpaid but whatever <laughs> But if you guys have been enjoying the little update videos, vlog video style videos of opening stuff, uh, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. I would like to start doing maybe some custom work on the Glaus, if possible. Maybe spray painting some stuff, doing some of my own custom paint jobs. Uh, I really want to do start getting that going. And now the weather's becoming really nice, so I think it'd be good to go outside and maybe do some painting on some Glaus. So... If you're interested in that, let me know. Sound off in the comments and uh, let me know what you think of the Armivore and the other figures that were in the video today. That's about it. I'm going to wrap up, do some more filming. I'm going to be opening up some Pokemon, which may or may not be out before this. Who knows? And I just filmed some GoGo's Crazy Bone Mutants opening, which was a lot of fun. So if you haven't seen that, go check that one out. That one's a great video if you like the GoGo stuff. But stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.